All right, Hunter, an impressive night for you at the plate. That home run in the second, 111.9 mile per hour exit velo on that one. How good did it feel to get that kind of power behind the bat? Uh, I felt pretty good to actually get a barrel on a bat, uh, barrel on a ball here <laughs> lately. So uh, I felt good. Obviously, two strike approach came into effect, and uh, I left the fastball all in the middle part of the plate. Now they would hit it. Afterwards, Manuel Margot stepped up. You guys hit back to back home runs. You both came from San Diego. Was it kind of cool to do that with a guy that you came here with? It was his first home run as a Ray. Yeah, no, that's really cool. I mean, obviously, anytime you can go back to back with anybody, and especially a guy like him, I've come up with uh, through the minor leagues and obviously through San Diego that we've been and, you know, kind of good friends for a long time. So uh, it's always cool. And obviously to get his first one out of the way is uh, always special. And Hunter, I would be remiss if I didn't ask your thoughts on Tyler Glass now's performance. 13 strikeouts for him tonight. What was it like watching that from the dugout in a time where you needed that length from him and that performance? No, yeah, I mean, he was incredible tonight. I mean, obviously, uh, just throwing out there, throwing curveballs for strikes. Uh, I think that's one of his biggest issues. Uh, last time we faced the Orioles was, you know, they didn't have to respect the curveball. They were just sitting on fastball and uh, reacting to it. So uh, today he was throwing the curveball for strikes, and he was able to land some, and, and they had to respect it. And uh, obviously it paid off. I mean, it was huge. I mean, he <laughs> struck out. How many, how many struck out? 11, 10, 11? Yep. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you mentioned facing the Orioles the last time was a bit of a struggle for you guys. How gratifying is it to get this win against them today? No, it was great. You know, obviously, uh, anytime you get a win, uh, first first game of the series, and and I look forward to the, the game tomorrow and the next day. But I uh, just got to take it one game at a time and, and continue battling and keep going up there with the uh, winning mentality and keep going. Congratulations, Hunter. Thanks so much. Yeah. First of all, Tyler Glass now. How sharp and effective was he tonight? A career high of 13 strikeouts for him. Yeah, he was outstanding. You know, he he, he gave up the home run in the first, and then. Really put it in gear. Um, just electric stuff. I mean, the breaking balls. I mean, that, that he's just he's really special pitcher when he's got both balls, uh, the fastball and the curveball, going where he wants them. And I don't know if you see too many other pitchers in the game that can create that type of chase on uh, on the breaking balls. I mean, th some of those are, are literally 55 footers, but you can't fault the hitter because it, it all comes out the same, and it just got so much bite to it as it's coming in. Um, you know, saying that, I think, you know, Mike Zanino deserves a heck of a lot of credit. He worked really hard back there, blocked the ball. I mean, put on a clinic today uh, working with him. Hunter Renfro launched one in the second inning. We just talked to him. It sounded like a home run right off the bat. How solid of a day did he have and how impressive was that home run? It was big. I mean, look, um, we didn't want to get into that, you know, fall into that lull against a left-handed pitcher where we're kind of working into their game plan. And, you know, he got he got pitched tough. I think it was an 0-2 pitch. Uh, they kind of uh, attacked him inside. It looked like he was trying to go in again and left it over the plate. Good for Hunter being ready to go. Uh, and he did. He got every bit of it. Do you know anything about Jalen Beeks yet, or no? Uh, other than that, it's, it's it's unfortunate. There's no no denying that. Uh, no explanation either. It's, it's just it's unfortunate. Uh, they're all coming here in bunches. It seems like every every night or every other night, and you just wish that Jalen, uh, you know, when he goes and sees the doctors, gets some type of promising news. We just gotta wait and see what they see. Kevin, I'm sorry, was it elbow or forearm or what? Was he just kind of shaking his arm? Yeah, I mean, that entire region, uh, you know, it's late now, but he'll go get checked out by a doctor first thing tomorrow morning, and we'll go from there. I, I'm guessing just by the, you know, the sound of it, that it, it sounded similar to, to Kit, but we, we don't know anything yet. And, and going back to Glass now, you had... Uh... Obviously, the bullpen issue maybe is a little changed by Beach, but you said that you needed that long start tonight so that you get caught up a little bit. I mean, Tyler kind of gave you exactly what you could have asked for, I assume. Yeah, oh, he, and then some. He was outstanding. Uh, you know, our, our bullpen is, is taxed, and they're going to be taxed tomorrow as well, but they're a day, a day cleaner, a day fresher now. Uh, and hopefully we can just continue to build off, you know, some of these starters getting deeper in ball games for us. Hey, Kerry, you mentioned Tyler when he has a fastball and curveball work, he's pretty tough. What, what about the mix today? He threw 48 um, fastballs and 47 curveballs. Leave it up to Tyler and Z, whoever's catching him, whether it's Mikey or Z.
We leave it up to, to certainly leave it up to Tyler and Z, whoever's catching him, whether it's Mikey or Z, go out there and, and establish what feels comfortable for you. Uh, it's not, it, 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 there's no point in second guessing because you know either pitch can be electric and can be pretty devastating if it's located right and, and he feels good with it. So go with what you feel best with. And uh, it, it sounded from that, I didn't realize that uh, until you just said that, that he felt good with both of them, even them out really, really well. Well, he didn't let, you know, uh, when you're 50-50, there's not too much of a tendency show there. So good for him. And here from tonight's starting pitcher, your winner, Tyler Glasnow. Hey, Tyler. Um, 13 strikeouts for you. That's a career high. You struck out nine of the last 10 batters you faced. How sharp and efficient did you feel out there tonight? Good. Um, kind of like the last one, I feel like it got a little better as the game went on. I definitely feel like the adjustments I made like later in the fourth and then fifth, sixth, and seventh were uh, probably the best I felt in a really long time. So very encouraging. How sharp did me, how did you feel about the mix of pitches you had? We just talked to Cash about it. You had 48 fastballs and 47 curveballs. How nice was that to see that mix? I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was more, but I didn't know it was that much. Um, that's, I mean, it's great. I think it was, I was able to land him for strikes more and get guys off balance a bit more. Um, a lot of good two-strike ones, too. So I just think as the game went on, kind of like I said, like especially the last three innings, it really started to take shape. How helpful was Mike Zunino in that Kevin Cash said that he put on a clinic out there? Yeah, he's amazing. That's He's like my favorite catcher. With Mikey and him, both thrown to them, is like such a – a huge blessing to have. I think, too, a lot of times I've been able to have a lot of really good catchers in my career, but when you have two really good ones, it makes your job way, way easier. So every time I've, I mean, especially with Zanino, I've thrown to him a lot more this year. He's always, he's just like reads my mind. He's a very, very good catcher. So, um, so much of the success definitely is due to him. So I just want to thank Z. Hope maybe if you're watching this, thank you. I'll go tell you after this, too. <laughs> Hey, Glass, also, you, know, you talked yesterday about hoping you could go deep, kind of lighten the load on the bullpen a little bit. Um, obviously, some satisfaction in that of getting for seven. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was nice to be able to go back out for the seventh. Part I didn't know if I was going to be able to or not. Um, and then Cash didn't say anything to me, and it was just a nice feeling to go back out. Um, and then to make it, like, efficient, too, was, was nice. <clears throat> Do you, do you just try to run out there before he has a chance to say anything when you get to that point? He usually does it at the end of the inning. He does it pretty quick. I think he knows I'll try to, like, avert him. So, he, uh, but, yeah, it was nice. I could tell he was, I don't know, confident and let me go back out. So, uh, I felt good. Tyler, you mentioned some of the, some adjustments that you made midway through the game. What were kind of some of the, those adjustments? Uh, my biggest thing is, like, just relieving all, like, tension. I want to feel, like, very Gumby-like when I'm throwing. And I think the first I, – I think it's harder in the beginning of a game for me just because I think you're you're a little bit more, like, up. But I started to kind of feel it a little bit <clears throat> in the beginning of the game. And then after, like, that kind of bad inning, um, it kind of just kicked it into overdrive. And I remember kind of having the, like, the internal dialogue of, like, the adjustments you made last game you're not doing right now. So I just – tried to be really really loose i've actually talked to slaggers about it too like a lot and we're just like two huge tall people and that's the adjustment he makes too so it was just kind of like a, a quick fix and it felt like really good really soon so i feel like adjustments for me sometimes usually take some time to get used to but it was like right when i thought of it i was like all right be loose and it helped me a lot Tyler, do you feel like kind of your overall stuff is, is starting Come back to kind of the feel of everything during the first couple of starts. You said it was taking some time to kind of get there, but do you feel like it's all the way there now? Yeah, I'd say a lot more of it, like mentality wise, like just being able to hone in on the glove and not like, I don't know. I just think, yeah, I think it's like accumulation of everything coming into like physical, mental, everything just kind of starting to feel a bit more normal. So today was definitely like, a, especially last three innings, is the best I felt. allowing the home run in the first he got some nice support in the second inning and three runs so you got an early lead there and how did that help uh it's a good feeling for me i don't know it's weird like i don't want to have give you a bad answer but like if we're, if we're up by like 12 or if we're tied game i i feel the same usually like i think so much of it is like you're still trying to go out there and compete and um put up good numbers always so i just think like there's not a big change i guess i think i mean 
maybe a tad bit. Obviously, if you're winning by a lot, it, you know, like, the, the win is more secure. But I try to treat it the same every inning. But, I mean, but to answer the question, good thanks to the hitters. Very good job. <laughs>